Safety. You know, people people make arguments, and look, football is a game that is part of our culture. Um, it owns a day of the week uh, for half of the year. Uh, so, so really, you know, this is a loaded issue. Um, people make the comparison that, you know, we know it's a violent and brutal game. However, so is boxing and so is MMA, and we enjoy that. But, you know, those are not sports where, you know, children are getting involved. Uh, uh, you know, it's not, you know, integrated into our school systems. Um, so this is a big deal here. And, uh, you know, football, is, from my perspective, under a state of emergency. Um, players are in denial. Coaches are in denial. Um, if you're in the game, you know, you're playing or you're involved, you're sort of invincible and immune to those dangers. However, they're very real, uh, you know, and the smartest man in the game realized that and retired because of it. Uh, that's saying something. Yeah, I, I know a lot of a lot of players have come out, and I guess their their stance on it is that the game has been so good to them, they wouldn't be where they are without without the game. They you know kind of can't quit it, so to speak. Uh, where do you where do you come down on that in terms of you know just guys who had this desire to play no matter what, and they'll deal with the consequences later. Love is a powerful thing, and you know we love this game. It will blind you, and it will make you, you know, go against the truth. Even in this case, uh, so for those players who, you know, are so hell bent on continuing and compete, uh, knowing that they're putting themselves at risk, uh, well, then you know they've made that choice. Uh, I, I hope that you know more guys do understand, you know, that the long-term health of their brain is far more important than that money they're earning. Because in 15 years, if you're losing your ability to speak, you know, how are you going to spend that money? Probably on therapies to keep, you know, your brain functioning.